have a situation, Mr. Barr. Tara is much more who works for this firm, thinking she worked for the airlines who gave her information about an efficiency factor employed by your client. This would be considered privileged information. I never revealed who my client was. Oh, we already knew who the client was. <laughs> oh, my God. Both you and Ms. Wilson, that's the real last name, Wilson. Both you and she have committed serious violations. You would likely lose your job and get a suspension. You would get worse. It would be in the best interest of all if the situation didn't become public. My problem, as Tara correctly points out, is having the information. I have an obligation to at least tell my clients who undoubtedly would elect to use it. But I also have an obligation to safeguard privilege, even when it's on the other side. So as I said, we've got a situation. Where we last left off was our discussions. Our number was 3.2 million, which is 2.1. The deal probably is somewhere in the middle. My proposal is to 